Welcome to Linux Essentials, covering your first 100 commands, and today we'll demonstrate the df command. I'm Paul, and here's the plan. First, the command and why you need it. Second, we'll play around in our terminal window, and third, we'll return for a quick tip, and then we're done. Okay, we know Linux is the backbone of the internet and is used by visionaries and succeeders. At Factorpad, we use Linux for fun stuff like contingency planning. So Linux is great, but it requires that you memorize commands, just like words in a language. And our 51st word or command to memorize is df from our category system. df allows you to display file or file system space. Recall from the last video on stat, we looked at permissions, timestamps, and file system size. Well, here we'll focus on size and usage statistics. But before we start, it helps to think of commands as many programs, and most follow this structure, command options and arguments. The df command has 18 options, and the argument is the file or file system name. Like most commands, help is available with double dash. Dash H reports in human readable form like 1K for 1 kilobyte, 1M for 1 megabyte, and 1G for 1 gigabyte. And to report specific items, we can use double dash output. So why is DF an important command? Well, space is a limited resource and nobody likes to run out, so we periodically need to check in on our, our allocation. And now you know how to do that. Oh, a quick word on navigation. This button goes to the playlist, back one video, forward one video, and click here for updates. Okay, the best way to embed this in your memory is by typing in your own terminal window. Find this on your Mac using a program called Terminal. On Linux, use Terminal or Console. And currently Microsoft is adding this functionality to Windows. Here we go. So to illustrate the difference between entering files or file systems, let's do a quick DF on the file system located in devices at slash dev slash sdb1 or refer to it as our home directory using slash home. Same thing, right? But now let's uh, work on this because this isn't user friendly here. Now we'll make it more friendly using the dash H option. We all understand this 1%, but most of us think in terms of gigabytes and megabytes. And then beyond that, we don't care to get more granular. And last, let's tack on the double dash output option with equals size and percent coded up like this for the slash home directory and voila the information we really care about very good and as always exit closes the terminal window okay now you know how to use df and you know the syntax for commands options and arguments one last tip about the df command so I suggest starting to think about a use case, like using DF to kick off an email to users who are nearing their capacity. Okay, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was a helpful introduction to the DF command.